If you haven't yet, you should check out our new merch store. Link is in the description. Hi guys, Misha here. It is the whoa. Hello? <laughs> okay. Very confused as to why my pockets are uh, in disarray. Okay, I was very worried that like one of my mods messed up and like deleted all my tools or something. I guess I could have just gotten them back with the item spawner, but still. Wowzers. Okay, hi. Um, <laughs> welcome to the summer finale. Summer finale of Stardew Valley here on Kiyoshi Farm. It's Saturday, um, the 27th of summer. And let's get to it. I'm trying to record this episode before, um, before a storm hits. So you might start to hear some rain, which I know is like nice to hear in the background, but it looked like the sky. God, I'm looking out my windows. The sky looks so ominous. I feel like it's going to be a really loud storm, which would just be too much for uh, for recording. So trying to get through this before that hits. Uh, we have a couple of goals for today. I do, whoopsie daisy. I do want to try to get the puffer fish. It is our last fish that we need for the community center that can exclusively come from summer. Uh, someone did tell me, thankfully, that... Um, sorry, just got, got distracted. That the puffer fish is sold by the traveling merchant sometimes. So even if we don't catch the puffer fish, it might not have to go directly to, you know, cheating it, so uh, maybe we'll be able to get get one from the traveling merchant at some point. Okay, let's get these eggs. Let's get this milk going here. Oh, we can definitely... Oh, I already have a ton of wool. Okay. Uh-oh. The rain's starting. Everybody panic. <laughs> Hopefully it won't get too intense too quickly. Um, yeah, so pretty much our main goal. Oh god, you hear that thunder? Oh no. <laughs> our main goal is to do- is to catch that puffer fish, basically. It sounds nice right now, it's not too crazy yet. And I don't know what else we're gonna do, just talk to everybody in town before, um... Before summer ends, get a last nice couple of days. The rain sounds strange on the roof. It sounds different than it normally does. Wow, yeah, it is just all of a sudden coming like a sheet, sheet of water outside. It's crazy. Um, I'm not going to bother milking. Well, I'll mil I'll milk our goats really quick because goat milk is um worth worth more or i guess goat cheese is is worth more um than cow milk slash deer milk so might as well might as well milk them get some profitable cheese out of it and yeah so last week we caught i'm pretty sure we got that sturgeon fish right Yeah, the sturgeon fish was for one of these, for the lake bundle or something, maybe. Yeah, so we're, we're good. Um, I think the tiger trout is for fall, both of these guys are fall or winter, and then yeah, puffer fish here is, is the last one. And what do we need? Oh, our poppies! Oh, we need to check our... Um, our greenhouse and see how those guys are coming along. Let's do that really quick before we go off to the beach to fish for the day. We got, we got some corn from this lone corn stalk here. Uh, we got wheat which is ready to harvest but I'm just gonna leave that there for now until we need to harvest them. The poppies, okay the poppies will be ready in three days. So that'll uh, be once we get into into fall before we're actually able to harvest the poppy and complete that bundle. But this is just so exciting. We're getting so close to uh, to completing our community center bundles. Let's go ahead and sell a few of these. Yeah, why not sell the algae? I mean, 
Why not? Sell the ale, sell the honey. Um, I guess I will keep... Yeah, let me just go ahead and put everything that I can away here. Just so my, my pockets are clean and ready to... Ready to receive our, uh, our fishies. Sorry, I'm going about this. All scatterbrandy. And the mines. This stuff can go in here. Uh, yeah, I guess we can put that in overflow, that in overflow. Okay, obviously the eggs need to go in animal products. What was I thinking? Done. Done. Did it. So now off to the beach. Oh no, we have bad luck today. Maybe you should stay home today, but we need to get in all the fishing that we can because it's the last two days that we can possibly catch that puffer fish. And I know I've mentioned this before, but I just want to remind you guys that I will be ending this series. I'm going to actually say after... I mean, definitely after... Oh, we get a cutscene after we complete the community center bundle. So we'll play through most of fall. I'll probably play a little bit off camera. Um, I'll play through a little bit of winter. I'll probably play some of that off camera. Um, actually, I'll play through most of winter off camera, aside from just accomplishing the little things we need to do for the community center bundles. So um, expect this series to be wrapping up in the next couple of months, I would say. I'm looking to start streaming more on Twitch, so I have to take a YouTube series away, and it's going to be this Stardew Valley one. Um, but we are going to get put some good time in. I want to marry somebody. I want to marry Abigail before we end the series, complete the community center before we end the series. And there's another farm building or two that we need to build that I'd really like to see. Um, so we'll try to do some really fun things before this series wraps up. But for now, we are talking to Alex. Also, this rain is very loud. Um, it's Misha, right? Are you kidding me? You don't really know my name? I'm just enjoying this great weather, Misha. He says as there is rain very loudly in the background. Hey, go long! <laughs> I don't think that's really long, but oh, oh, we fumbled it. Is that the word? Is that That's a sports football term, right? <laughs> nice try. I don't know if fumble just means to drop the ball or not. It's, it's that that has... Oh my god, this is so... <laughs> This rainstorm is so intense. Uh, it's like raining kind of sideways, so it's like splattering onto my window. I'm sorry I'm a little distracted. I'm going to try to focus on, on the game and not talk about this rainstorm. Uh, I'm going to be the first professional grid ball player from Stardew Valley. There's no doubt in my mind. I've already led my team school, or my school's team to the regional playoffs. Now I'm just training and getting stronger so I can claim my spot on the roster of the Zuzu City Tunnelers. What? You just wait. Uh, aw, I believe in you, or wow, you're really arrogant. I'm gonna say I believe in you. He's just, he's just trying to do something he's passionate about and be ambitious about, and I'm okay with that. He is a little arrogant, but thanks, Misha. I'll remember that. That was our first cutscene we've ever gotten with him. I'm really not a fan of Alex. I know a lot of people, aw, Abba. <laughs> I know a lot of people say that, you know, his personality gets better, that all of their personalities get better as you get to know them, which, you know, I get. Like, I'm not a fan of Alex, not a fan of Haley. They're both very, just a little arrogant, so they, they turn me off, but I know they get better as you level up your friendship with them, so I would like to increase our friendship a little bit more and, and get... Oh, uh, sorry, I was just thinking, pufferfish, they actually aren't out in the ocean until noon, so we've got a minute before we have a chance for pufferfish to appear. I am just going to fast forward through me fishing, though, because it's probably not going to be very interesting, just me fishing for, you know, I don't know how many minutes straight. So I will meet you guys back either when I catch a pufferfish or, oh god, or when it is after 4 p.m. and the pufferfish is no longer available. God, that one was hard to catch. Jesus, that was a tuna. 
Okay, meet you guys back. Well, you guys, it is after 4 p.m. We did not catch any puffer fish. In fact, we mostly caught trash. Unfortunately. So, we will come back tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have better luck, because our luck is technically, you know, very, very bad today. So I really wasn't too hopeful about getting getting a puffer fish. This rain is still very, very loud. I hope that I can change or just edit it down to be a little bit quieter. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's too loud. If the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the shop stock. What does that mean, more lively? I'm like, I'm a pretty good level as far as fishing goes. What, what level am I? Uh, well, okay, I am just level 5. It definitely could be higher. But it's doing okay. Well, let's talk to Kent. We haven't, haven't spoken to him a lot. Jody tells me you've really become a part of this community. I'm glad to hear it. And there goes everybody off to the saloon. I think we'll spend tomorrow night at the saloon talking to people, giving out a few presents. But right now, let's go back to the farm. Uh, I did want to edit that little area around Grandpa's Shrine. Make it look just a little bit nicer now that I've given it some thought and heard some feedback from you guys. Let's go see what it's looking like and how we could arrange things. Oh, look, we got a battery here. Yeah, so I don't, don't really like the way... Sorry, I had to move Margo from in front of the, the monitor. Don't really like the way all these look. But I do want to figure out a way... Whoops. To put some more flowers further out here. And for it to still look nice. Oh yeah, I am whew, all out of space. Let me... Put our fish away in here. I'm just gonna throw all that in there as well right now. I hear bees buzzing. Okay, now it went away. No, I hear it again. Are they like bees that are in a tree or something? I am very confused. It sounds like a bunch of flies or a bunch of bees or something. very lost here. Okay, so what I am gonna do, I think I am going to put just a couple of flowers up here by the shrine. Yeah, maybe some right, one right there, just one right there. Um, I don't know which ones I want them to be. Those look really nice. I like those. And then maybe we'll just have some randomly placed flowers. Maybe look like they're they're growing naturally out here. Right there. Okay, 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 okay. And yeah, I want to place them just a little randomly. And I'm gonna change their type so it's not all the same. Same couple types. So I don't want to have, I like the trees so, so much, but I don't want to have too many of them, especially in such a pretty little spot. Okay. Yes, yeah, so maybe I'll leave those flowers like that, and then, yeah, those look nice. Um... Maybe those white ones? I don't know. This will be a little bit easier in the daytime to be honest. I do like those like reeds, but I think those would look better just by the water instead. But it would give a good variety, and it's about to be fall anyways, so it'll 
change to a different type of, of flower. Okay, that's looking nice. That is looking nice. Let's go ahead and do our craft tables here. We'll get some more cheese and mayo and all that being made. The rain has actually died down, which is nice. Okay, we'll get those, we'll get these. Okay, that duck mayo we can definitely sell. And just that regular mayo, yeah, 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 yeah. Make ourselves some money, sell that cloth, sell that cheese. And once I do in this series, I might start streaming Stardew Valley on Twitch a little bit more regularly. I've only really streamed Stardew Valley, I think, once or twice whenever I first got the Switch version of the game. And I really liked it. I really liked streaming Stardew Valley. It was good to just chill and sit back and be able to chat with people while doing stuff, let... I don't know, I feel like whenever I'm playing this, whenever I'm recording it, I feel a bit more of the time crunch. Because one, I'm recording, so I want to be, you know, talking and being interesting and engaging the entire time. And two, I just, because this is a limited series, I want to try to get like as much stuff done as possible. Which kind of takes away from the point of the game a little bit, because you should take it a little casually. You know, it's an open-ended game. You have years and years and years that you can play this. You don't really have to rush anything. So I might like it a little bit more on Twitch. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do it immediately. Like I said, this series is going to go on for at least the next month. We'll play through. God, we have bad luck again today, but the traveling merchant's in town. So. Oh, and tonight's the dance of the moonlight jellies as well. Okay. So let's go visit the Traveling Merchant, and then tonight we'll do the, the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. And before that, I don't know, if the Traveling Merchant has the puffer fish, I'll just buy it from her and not bother fishing for it. And we can do other stuff today, but if she doesn't have it, then we'll definitely have to go fish for it after noon. I'd like to share an old cooking recipe uh, my pappy used to make. It's important the fish is fresh, Willy. Aw, oh, he gave us an escargot recipe. I have never had escargot. Dear Misha, tonight around, yeah, 10 o'clock p.m., a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their long journey south for the winter. We're all gathering at the beach to watch. All right, so we will, whoops, wrong button. We will definitely, definitely gather there. Let me go ahead and grab this. Chop down a couple of these trees. They're blocking, blocking my view of the tappers. I don't like that, I don't appreciate it. Oh, I also need to make sure, since this is the last day of summer... Wow, I have a lot of things that are not grown! Oh my goodness, no! The hot pepper isn't going to be grown until tomorrow! And so is the tomato! And blueberries, I know those just kind of reproduce every... ...few days. Well... Oh, the hot peppers do that too. The hot peppers, they just fill up every, every few days. Okay. So I didn't waste, waste money on those, technically. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just go. Let's just, let's just, let's just leave. Let's go look at the flowers first. But we'll, we'll tend to all this tomorrow. Don't need to worry about it. Yeah, I like this. I also want to add some more flowers, um, just kind of scattered around the farm as well. Like, yeah, let's... Put some up here in my pockets and just go ahead and... Need to get off of Appa. Can plant one here. Plant one there. I'll make, yeah, those, those pink ones. Oh, that'll look nice. The white roses. Actually, hold, no, I'm gonna do these pink ones right here, and then up here, I'll do, yeah, those purpley ones. Those look really nice. I wonder if now those are too much, though, like right next to this area. Hmm. Huh. Maybe I should take these and just do those couple. But I'm going to be so picky about these flowers. 
Okay, I like those white ones there, though. Okay, now traveling merchant time. Let's head down this way. I feel like this will be the fastest path. God, we need to clear away some of these trees once fall rolls in. Why am I going all the way over here? I'm just following the path, not even thinking about where I need to go. Oh, hello. Um. So, nope, don't need to go this way. It's, it's over here. I do not know the layout of my farm as well as I thought I did. I love the pretty butterflies. Oh my gracious. So many things. Blocking my path. There's those bugs again. I hear those bees again. Maybe that's just a random, like, summertime noise that you hear. Doesn't really have any significant meaning. Alright. Give me a puffer fish. Not a sand fish. God bless. Oh well. Okay. But the traveling merchant, I assume, can carry... Actually, let me look again at what all she has. I assume she can carry a puffer fish during all times of the year, so even if we don't catch the puffer fish, we should still have a chance to buy it from her. If we happen to not find a puffer fish before the series ends, I probably will use mods to get it in, um, just so we can complete the community center in the series. I will, uh, I'll, I'll do that. I'll feel a little bad about it. But I'll do it. Oh, let's chat with Haley real quick. Emily usually cooks dinner, but she makes weird stuff like quinoa. I love quinoa. Of course, of course, Haley doesn't like quinoa. You just gotta have it. You just gotta have it uh, spiced properly and mixed with other yummy things. Today's. Oh no, you guys. I can't fish. I can't fish today at the ocean. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, I guess we're just not catching a puffer fish. We will have to hope that the traveling merchant... That the traveling merchant has it in the next next month. I will definitely go out of my way to be sure that we, we visit her. Every time that she is in town, every time, every day that I play. I think she's, what, in town on Fridays and, and Sundays? I'm pretty sure. Figured we might as well come here since we're over here. I know we have some geodes to get processed. Are those the only ones? I feel like we might, we, we had gotten some, like, a magma geode or something. Sounds very ominous in here. It's just so quiet. Ah, uh, yeah, wouldn't be in resources, just making sure, wouldn't be in goods, would it? Okay, these are all of them then. Let's chat with our main man here, process our, nope, not do this. Oh, but let's actually take a gander here. Um, I feel like the next thing we'd want to upgrade is, yeah, we should get our... We should get a gold pickaxe and a gold axe, both of these. We don't really need the watering can because we just, you know, have sprinklers. But we should definitely upgrade our axe and our pickaxe. Let me go ahead and uh, do, do the gold axe. After it, let me get these geodes processed. And then we'll go ahead and start making the gold axe. I, think, I don't think about stuff like that. Um, I always forget about upgrading the tools for some reason, but I really, really should get those upgraded. Uh, what is that? Granite. Okay. Okay, okay. And now... Oh, I need to... That's... Okay, not what I... No, stop it! <laughs> oh, didn't mean to buy those. We go into resources. Yes, we've got those gold bars ready to go. We just needed five. Yeah, we just needed five gold bars. So there you go, my dude. I'll get started on this as soon as I can. Should be ready in a couple of days. Cool, cool. And it shows up here. We've got our two days until gold axe is finished being upgraded. Thank you for telling me, game. Love that mod. Super, super handy. God, I'm so mad at myself. I didn't even think that the whole beach would be blocked off for 
for that event. Fiddle sticks. Well, what else should we do? We should just kind of ride around town a little bit. See, no, we don't need to go to Joja Mart. Get our last day of summer in, because uh, we actually- I do have a mod installed that makes the grass during autumn green. Um, it's definitely a lighter green, a more muted kind of, you know, dead grass looking green, of course, than, uh, than summertime. Oh, I need a little woodpecker. <laughs> but, yeah, there's those bugs again. Maybe I just haven't had the audio up enough when I've recorded these to really hear those bugs. This is an easier time of year for me. I don't have to worry about staying warm. Aww. Plus, the fruits of the wild are growing everywhere. It's a lot easier for him to eat rather than going through a, uh... A trash can. Yeah, these bugs are really throwing me off. I'm like... Is, are these butterflies supposed to be something else? Like, are the butterflies supposed to be a, a bug that makes a buzz? Is that what's causing the noise? Or is it just random? I don't know. I feel like it's... I feel like it's any time I'm by one of those butterflies. But I don't know. Iron ore. Um, oh, I cannot get through that wood because we don't have an axe right now. Yeah, now it's going away. Now that that butterfly is flying away. But now I'm getting more up here and, you know. I'm hearing the buzzing again and I don't see a butterfly. Oh yeah, our mine carts are, are working. We could uh, take that somewhere. But then Appa, Appa wouldn't be able to come with us. I wish Appa could go in the minecart. Wish you could take your horse in the minecart. That would be really nice. Okay, that's been enough time here. Let's go back to the farm and finish doing, finish doing our just craft tables and a little bit of rearranging. Anything we can do with the crops, maybe. Or, no, I did say we were going to socialize today. We could go give some presents to people in town, I'm sure. We could go give something. Let's go give something to Demetrius. He's working hard, setting up for the Moonlight Jelly Festival tonight. He deserves... <gasps> oh, I thought it was a cutscene. <laughs> I thought we were getting an event. Are we good enough friends with Sebastian to go into his room? We are, because we got that event with him. Okay, now we're getting to an event. And we're going into his room. Oh no, this is the first time we've been able to go into his room. That was um, Sam's room that we went into a couple episodes ago. Oh hey, he says, give me one sec. He has two computers. He's busy, I should leave. Oh my god, I am not leaving. I am staying right here. I want to know what he's got to say. Okay, sorry about that. I just needed to finish what I was working on. Ask him what he's working on. Compliment the decor in his room. Um, I mean, either. I'm good with either. I'm going to ask him what he's working on. I do freelance work as a programmer. <gasps> really? I didn't know that. That's so interesting. Oh my god, I love Sebastian. That was an instant message from Sam. I guess he wants to hang out. Ugh, I don't really feel like going out today. God, remember when instant messaging was a thing? Oh, hi, Misha. Oh, hi, Robin. Sebby. Oh, <laughs> she calls him Sebby. I know you don't like it when I come in here, but I ran into Abigail at the store and she said she was looking for you. Oh no, why? Did you tell her I'm working? I did, but she said she'd probably stop by anyway. Uh-oh. <sighs> no one takes my job seriously. Aw, no one ever bothers Maru when she's working at the clinic. Does everyone think I'm just surfing the web all day? <laughs> Mom just leaves. No comment. Ask him about his career goal. Ask him why he doesn't want to see his friends. 
I mean, I understand about not wanting to be social. I don't need to ask about that. I get it. Um, I'm gonna ask him about his career goals. Well, I'm trying to save up so I can move out of here. Probably to the city or something. Aw, let's move to the city together. You know, if I'd gone to college, I'd probably be making six figures right now. But I just wanna, don't want to be a part of that corporate rat race, you know? Sebastian, my dude. I feel you, buddy. Well, and I guess I just feel more comfortable hidden behind the computer dealing with pe than dealing with people face to face. Also feel that, buddy. Also feel that. Well, I should get back to work. I need to get this module finished by tomorrow. Is Abigail about to pop her happy little butt down here? No? Okay. Was that just supposed to indicate to us that Sebastian and Abigail are, um... Oh, yay, we can just come in here now. That's so nice. That, like, Abigail and Sebastian are kind of a thing? Oh, of course, it's a graphic novel. And what? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be... No, I don't want to ruin things in your room. I just want to see what this is. Uh, Solarion Chronicles, the game. Probably a Sellers of Catan Dungeons and Dragons-esque type game. I'm into it. So Demetrius isn't, uh... Oh, he's not even in here. He's over by the playground doing something. Well, I'm so glad we went down there and, and got that event. That was, that was interesting. Love learning more. Oh, look, here's Penny. Chat with her. So, do you like to decorate your farmhouse? I do. I really need to decorate it some more. It must be nice having your own place to decorate. It is i tell you what penny um trying to no trying to get info about about penny here there we go oh she likes diamonds emeralds and melons well i got all of those let's give her uh penny deserves a diamond she deserves it she is a diamond herself whoops didn't mean to click that here you go thank you i really love this can you imagine just being gifted a diamond. Oh, here's a uh, uh, Caroline. Today I'm just going to relax and think positively. Do you ever take a day off? She has asked me that so many times. Oh, she likes Summer Spangle, um, which I accidentally picked one of <laughs> the other day. Uh, so I do happen to have one that I do not need. Here you go. You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. Oh, I'm so glad she likes it. Okay, now we're gonna go back to farm, go back to the farm and get ready for the dance of the Moonlight Jellies. It was fun getting to chat with people and getting that event with Sebastian. Hopefully we'll get, we'll get more events with people soon. I'll try to, I'll try to look up some of the events and like what you need to do, like where you need to be at what time in order to, to trigger those because most of them have just been happening, they've all just been happening randomly so far. I haven't gone out of my way to trigger any of them. Um, but especially for Abigail's, I definitely want to get Abigail's so that we can, I mean I think I can marry her, like as long as our friendship level is where it needs to be and... I give her the, is it the bouquet of, of flowers that you give the person that you, that you want to marry? I'm pretty sure. I can give that to her regardless of if we've gotten all the events, as long as we have the eight, eight hearts with her. Okay, we got three of those, one piece of cloth. Oh, I need something else to put in the, uh, preserves jars. Let's do, yeah, let's make some jam, make some, make some blueberry jam. And then we will head to the beach. Uh, let's see, these go here. These here. This here. Uh, I run out of things to say and I just start singing. Oh, I have a pet. <gasps> Oh, you guys know what? I did not feed- I did not water our animals yesterday. I did not water our pets. Oh no, they're going to be so thirsty. I'm so sorry. My babies, Margo and Zuko and Azula. 
So what time do I need to be at this, at the beach for this event to occur? Is it just after it gets dark? It might have not been until 9 p.m. Whoops. Got off a cot there for a second. Is everybody heading down to the beach, ready for the festival? Come back later. Okay, one second. Alright, friends, the dance of the moonlight jellies has begun. It, it was actually 10 p.m. is what time it needed to be for it to start. That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. Marnie uh, has the right idea there. I can't believe summer's over. I feel like it just started. I should have brought my camera. I always forget. Do they say different things every year or the same things every year? I'm trying to remember if I've heard these things before. Life is so easy for a jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry you onward forever. Aww. I love Penny. Moonlight jellies? I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. Yeah, okay, Gus. Whatever, my dude. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. <laughs> Pam, he's standing right there. I'm sure he heard you. I am also disappointed that there's no buffet. I want to see the rare green jelly. I wonder if they're poisonous. Such a rare and exciting thing. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. Oh god, Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian has sensed our, our impending doom. What's up, Shane? The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. I hope there are babies this year. Good evening, Misha. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. Aw, I'll let him know whenever we're ready to start. Most nightfish would be scared of the light. These, were, these are strange ones. Good evening, Misha. I hope you can find some time to relax before the harvest season. Oh, and this dialogue is definitely- I feel like this is all new. Or maybe I just didn't talk to everybody last year. I'm not- I'm not sure. There! I just saw something glowing. Oh. It's gone. Aw, poor Jody. Look out there! At the endless sea, deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark eerie, isn't it? I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. Clint! Oh, poor, poor guy. If we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. Don't even talk to me about that. I have some thoughts. We treat our, we treat our environment very poorly. And our animals. It is sad. Psst. Make sure you swing by the shop tomorrow to get your fall seeds. Always Pierre with that self-promotion. These candles are romantic, aren't they? They are. I'll look at Evelyn. I remember seeing the jellies of once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped for joy when they arrived. Aww. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? Not at all, George. I'm happy you're here. Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to these blasted mosquitoes. Same. Any time. Any warm weather when mosquitoes come out. I always get bit by so many of them. I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. I love Linus. I want to become better friends with him. He is so sweet and so wholesome. Oh god, here's the wizard all the way back here. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. <laughs> Or I just knew some people would uh, be spending some time over here. The Moonlight Jelly. What a remarkable species. We're very lucky that they stop here on their long journey south. Oh, it's past my bedtime. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. Let's see if there's anybody down here on the dock. I can't remember if we've missed anybody or not. Yep, Leah's down here. Hey, I'm paying my respects to another bygone summer. Well, I think we have talked to everybody. It is time to start this beautiful little show. Yeah, I think last year we might have skipped talking to a lot of people. I don't think I bothered to go over the bridge or... I don't know if I even talked to everybody on this boardwalk. Um, it's so cool having everybody hanging out around down here by the beach. What do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Yes, let's go.
speaking of boats, I need to do... Isn't there supposed to be a new boat that shows up here? Um, with the new update? I haven't gotten that update. I need to... Oh, look, you guys. Here they are. The Moonlight Jellies. I want to make about 23 Spongebob references right now, but I'm not going to. <laughs> They're so pretty. Oh look, there are some babies. Well, who is that? Jazz that was wanting to see some babies. And somebody, Vincent, was wanting to see the rare green, green one. Hopefully we'll see that one too. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the rare green one. Oh, but Vincent can't see it. He's all the way over there. Should like call out to him and let him know. Ah, what a lovely last evening of summer. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. Yep, just a lovely way to wrap up summer. Oh god, we'll have to go back <laughs> to get off of tomorrow. Uh, so next week, you guys, we will be starting fall of year two. I cannot wait. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know any, any good tips, any thoughts, any input etc etc and let's see how much money we made i don't think we leveled up in anything made a good bit of money all right guys i'll see you next week we'll start our fall farm get some new crops going and uh, see all the changes made around the farm and around town i'm so excited we'll see you guys soon have a wonderful day be kind to one another don't forget to be awesome bye <laughs>